Hey students, the aim of the experiment is focal length of a concave mirror that is to find the value of image distance for different values of object distance in case of length. To find the focal length of concave mirror, first let us find out the approximate focal length of the concave mirror for distant object by forming its image on the screen. Now observe this, the concave mirror is mounted on the stand which is kept in front of a screen and it is focused the paraxial rays from distant object like window or tree. So the window is the image of the window is observed clearly and uh, the rays are incident on this uh, concave mirror and they get reflected they are focused at a point on the screen so that the clear image of the distant object is seen here on the screen. Now the distance between the screen and the mirror can be measured using the scale. That's. So the scale is kept uh, perpendicular to the screen and the distance between the image and the mirror can be measured using the scale which is found to be almost 10 centimeter. So this is how we can find out approximate focal length of the concave mirror by using the distant object. To find the focal length of concave mirror, first let us find out the approximate focal length of the concave mirror for distant object by forming its image on the screen. Now observe this, the concave mirror is mounted on the stand which is kept in front of a screen and it is focused the paraxial rays from distant object like a window or a tree. So the window is, the image of the window is observed clearly and uh, the rays are incident on this uh, concave mirror and they get reflected, they are focused at a point on the screen so that the clear image of the distant object is seen here on the screen. Now the distance between the screen and the mirror can be measured using the scale. That's. So the scale is kept uh, perpendicular to the screen and the distance between the image and the mirror can be measured using the scale which is found to be almost 10 centimeter. So this is how we can find out approximate focal length of the concave experiment. First let us mount the concave mirror on the optical bench on the stand at appropriate position say about 50 centimeter on the optical bench. Then there are two pins in front of this concave mirror. One you take it as object pin, another as image pin. So this is object pin, this is image pin. Now let us keep this object pin beyond C, center of curvature, that is two times the focal length. So beyond that is about, pin is kept beyond C, say about 30 centimeter from the position of the mirror. Now let us adjust the image pin to remove the parallax. So let us observe before adjusting the pin for parallax removing uh, the parallax between object pin and image pin. When it is viewed through the mirror the object pin and its image pin image of the image pin there is a parallax between the object pin and its image. So we have to set and remove this parallax. Now the parallax is removed with respect to object pin so you can observe it through the mirror. Red pin is object pin and yellow pin is image pin. So you can observe the parallax is removed between the two, the object pin and the image of the image pin through the mirror. When the object is at 30 centimeter from the mirror, the, after removing the parallax, the image pin is found to be at 15.3 centimeter. So using these values, you can tablet in the tabular column. The object distance is 30 centimeter and the corresponding image pin is found to be at 15.3 centimeter. So after calculating, the focal length is found to be 10.13. Now, for the second trial, 
the object pin is kept at 20 centimeter that is at 2 c 2 times its focal length that is 2 times the focal length of the concave mirror now with the single pin with the same pin we have to look at the image of this object pin through the mirror and let us try to remove the parallax between the two now the parallax is removed with respect to object pin so when you observe through the mirror the image of this pin itself so it is coinciding with it and uh, the parallax is removed so now the distance can be measured from the mirror That's it. after removing the parallax the distance of the image is found to be at the same position so that is also 20 cm itself so the same thing is tabulated in the tabular column the reading for this uh, second trial beyond C that is at, at 2 C is 20 cm object and the image is also found to be almost at the same position say that is 20.1 cm. So using, using these two trials the focal length is calculated using the formula and that is found to be almost 10.02 which is almost equal to its standard value of focal length. That's it. Now for the third trial the object pin and image pin will be interchanged. Now the yellow pin this becomes object pin and this becomes red pin becomes image pin. Now the object pin is kept at uh, 15 centimeter and uh, its corresponding uh, image pin is adjusted in such a way that the parallax is removed when it is observed through the mirror. You can observe the object pin is yellow colored, yellow colored pin and the image pin is red colored pin. So now it is set at 15 centimeter the yellow pin and the corresponding image distance is adjusted after removing the parallax the red pin and the distance can be measured from the mirror. That's the third trial for 15 centimeter that is between f between f and c the corresponding image distance is found to be at 30 centimeter and using these two trials we can find out the focal length which is found to be almost 10 centimeter so in this way we can uh, take uh, the trials uh, beyond uh, 2c and uh, at c and between f and uh, c two trials each so in this way we can uh, take uh, five observations and then uh, we can get the mean value of focal length which is found to be here in this case 10.05 cm using the relevant equation. The readings are calculated and the final result is tabulated here which is found to be 10.05 cm. So thank you students.